As an Amazon seller, you know that success on the platform is about more than just selling products. It's about creating a virtuous cycle of growth and success that can help you stand out in a crowded marketplace and achieve long-term success. And that's where the Amazon flywheel comes in. Hello everyone, I'm Ankita Patil, Product Evangelist at SellerUp and today I'm going to deep dive into Amazon Flywheel and how it will help you to grow in every aspect of your e-commerce business. Here's a quick overview of topics we are covering in this video. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, click the like button below and subscribe to SellerApp so you don't miss out on more exciting Amazon selling tutorials in the future. Now let's get started. What is the Amazon Flywheel? Amazon Flywheel is a concept that has introduced by Jeff Bezos, the founder and former CEO of Amazon. It describes different aspects of an Amazon seller's business that are interdependent on each other. That means improving one area can positively impact the others, ultimately resulting in long-term success. Bezos' vision for Amazon from its early days was to become the most customer-centric company globally, and this philosophy forms the foundation of the flywheel. The flywheel reflects this and starts with this idea that low prices and exceptional customer experiences are essential drivers. This customer-centric approach is the backbone of the business strategy and this is how they set the flywheel in motion. The flywheel isn't a business model or a strategy per se, but rather a mechanism that illustrates how growth leads to future growth. It clarifies the mechanics of growth and the cause and effect relationship between various drivers. In other words, the flywheel serves as a tool to explain how to achieve continuous growth once the flywheel has started turning. Well, here's a breakdown of each part of the Amazon flywheel and what it represents. So the three pillars of a successful Amazon flywheel are selection, customer experience and traffic. Firstly, selection. Wide variety of products are available on Amazon. By offering a broad selection of products, Amazon can attract more customers to its platform and provide a better shopping experience. Next is customer experience. So by focusing on the customer and constantly improving the shopping experience, Amazon has been able to build a loyal customer base and grow its business to become one of the most successful companies in the world. Third one is traffic. This simply refers to the number of customers driven to Amazon. So these three pillars will further help you to optimize the other components of the Amazon flywheel, which are lower cost structure. So by selling products online, Amazon does not incur costs to running physical brick and mortar shops. Thus, the company runs a more scalable and cheaper business model than most retail companies. Next is lower prices. Amazon's founder believes that customers always want lower prices, making it one of the fundamental tenets of the company's philosophy. Next is sellers. There are many third-party sellers who use the Amazon platform to sell their products. So these sellers are a critical part of the Amazon flywheel because they provide the selection of products that customers are you're looking for. Now how to apply Amazon flywheel strategy to your Amazon business? To effectively utilize the flywheel business model in your own strategy, it's important to view it as a mindset and way of thinking rather than a rigid plan or roadmap. Every modification made to your strategy should have the goal of increasing growth and bringing you closer to your key performance indicators. Although some changes may have a more significant impact than others, consider the following key elements of the Amazon flywheel strategy to integrate into your campaigns. So first one is customer experience. 
the first critical aspect of the Amazon flywheel strategy to incorporate is definitely the customer experience because this refers to every interaction between a consumer and a brand. To set your flywheel model in motion, it's crucial to keep a close eye on every aspect of your customer experience. So you can achieve this by monitoring all your customer performance metrics on Amazon and other online marketplaces such as you know, ticket volume or the average resolution time, the average response time, what is the customer satisfaction store, what um, is the order defect rate and more. As a seller, you should always be looking for new ways to optimize your customer's experience from the moment they came across your product to after they have made a purchase. Second is be dynamic. Amazon is famous for continuously launching features such as Amazon Prime, Prime Video and same day shipping. So to keep the flywheel model running and maintain growth momentum, you must follow Amazon's examples and avoid using stagnant promotional methods and even online strategies. So instead, you should explore new and innovative ways to attract attention such as offering more appealing product deals and creating more effective advertising campaigns. Third one is optimize for traffic. When it comes to traffic, ensure that your products are getting both organic and paid traffic. For driving organic traffic, optimize your listings for SEO. It's vital to keep search engines in mind while creating product listings on online marketplaces like Amazon. So failing to do so uh, can put you into a disadvantage or your products won't gain visibility in these SERPs. Thus, optimizing your listings for SEO is crucial for your success. To achieve this, it's important to identify target keywords for each of your products and incorporate them into your titles, descriptions, feature lists and more. Coming to the second part, advertising. It is no more an option but a necessity because of increasing competition. So without effective advertising, it can be difficult for a business to differentiate itself from its competitors and attract customers. So if you feel advertising is challenging, let me show you the easy way through the Seller App dashboard. So after logging into the dashboard, navigate to advertising and click on the calculate ROAS button. Here you can set the target ACoS for your existing campaigns. Once your advertising account is synced, Cellwrap automatically analyzes your search terms. Insights tab will help you to find the search terms that are increasing your sales and search terms that are bleeding your ad spend. Under this, negative search terms will give you a set of search terms which are not performing well for your campaigns. After analyzing them on the basis of primary attributes, performance metrics and derived metrics, you can mark them negative or even ignore them for 7 days. Positive search terms will give you a set of search terms which are really performing well for your campaigns. Evaluate them on the basis of primary attributes, performance metrics and derived metrics. You can select the search terms which are converting well and go to track keywords option over here where you will be directed towards keyword tracking under product intelligence feature where you can understand them better for a specific period of time. If the search terms are not performing well, you can also ignore them for 7 days. And this is how Cellwrap will help you to be more visible on Amazon. Fourth one is analyze your products. So to implement the flywheel approach, it's crucial to evaluate your product catalog and adopt a proactive approach to inventory management. You should analyze your product performance regularly to understand your top sellers, underperforming products and products that have lost their appeal. So instead of only replenishing the inventory when stocks run low, you should strive to expand your product offerings continuously. Now, if a product fails to meet its targets, you should be willing to discontinue it. Fifth one is monitor your reputation. Don't forget to prioritize your reputation as it is paramount in third-party selling and generating any e-commerce sales. 
consumers often read product or brand reviews before making a purchase to feel more confident about their buying decision. Therefore, you should provide various trust signals such as having a legitimate website, social media presence, an exciting customer base and a bank of positive product reviews. So by monitoring, managing and building your reputation, you can see benefits in sales, rankings and even your overall revenue. It is important to remember that each stage of your customer journey is linked and investing effort in building trust and reputation can help you achieve your goals. With a basic understanding of the Amazon flywheel, you and your business can benefit from its dynamism and growth power. Here are the biggest advantages of using it. First one is no stockouts. Since analyzing products is a part of flywheel, you can ensure that your products do not go out of stock, thereby ensuring seamless customer experience. It's a win-win for both your business and even your customers. Second is faster growth. For any seller, the ultimate goal is to gain more sales and profits through the Amazon business. If you want to grow your sales, ensure your products rank higher so they lead to better visibility and sales. Third is enhanced brand reputation. So by developing excellent products, providing top-notch customer service, offering competitive prices, and answering customer questions or concerns, you can build a strong brand reputation on the Amazon platform. This can lead to increased customer loyalty and repeat business. Fourth one is competitive advantage. By leveraging the power of the flywheel, you can differentiate yourself from your competitors and gain that competitive advantage on the Amazon platform. So in a nutshell, the Amazon flywheel model is about making small changes that when in turn influence other aspects and keep the flywheel turning. There are three main elements to prioritize customer experience, selection of products and driving traffic. So get these three aspects of your strategy right and closely monitor them and your flywheel will be propelling in no time. And that's it for this video everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means a lot to us. It encourages us to bring out more helpful videos like this. We have published an in-depth blog on Amazon Flywheel which you can find in the comment section below. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe to Seller App. Let us know if you guys want us to create detailed seller guides on any specific topics. You can leave your suggestions in the comment section below and we'll definitely create them for you. If you haven't already, click the bell icon so that you will never miss another video. And as always, happy selling.